Hey Collective. I'm so sorry, I do have to have the fan on and um, because it is just really, really hot today. Um, and today is moving day. I'm getting all of my stuff put in storage, but I did wanna take time to do a quick reading for you guys. Um, and I will be doing readings from you guys, for you guys, even though I'm moving um, uh, I, and I'll be in a hotel uh, for a bit. So, um, uh, I'll still have, you know, um, some of my stuff, uh, all of my cards. I got like five huge totes of cards that I will have in the hotel with me. So, and I'm going to have to take uh, the U-Haul <laughs> for my cards because they won't fit in the car. So, <laughs> So, um, and they will, I will not put them in storage, just not going to happen. So, um, I will have all of my cards with me, uh, be able to do readings for you guys and also personal readings. Look, as I'm talking about that, I've got the eight of cups that came out with the Empress. Oh my goodness. So let me clear out my energy after talking about myself. For those of you who don't know me, if you're new here, hi, my name is Winter. Hello. I um, have certain gifts and abilities that I use as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. So um, what we're going to do is like I always do is use the singing bowl to clear out the energy for myself and yourself. And I'm just going to do a quick general message for you guys uh, to just see what spirit has to say for you today. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and... Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, spirit guides. Thank you, angelic higher light beings, galactic ancestors. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to any and all souls that find their way here to this message. Thank you for enlightening each and every one of the decks of cards that I use here today with clear and easy to understand, honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages from the divine to provide insight, clarity, guidance, information, confirmation, validation, wisdom, and or knowledge that comes from love. Thank you that this reading is only for the greatest and highest good of all and to the harm of none. With peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Namaste. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to get a card from here to see what is the theme. Some of you could be dealing with, um, yeah, your shadow self may be battling, fighting inner demons right now with that darkness card that showed up on the bottom of the deck. What is the theme, Spirit? What's going on? Okay. Okay, we've got blossoming. All right. You could, things here are unfolding for you. Spirit's telling you to be very versatile right now. Oh my God, with the final destination, these two cards came out together before I started the reading when I was shuffling the deck. And um, we've got focus effect. It actually even speaks about distractions. Okay. And I was talking about those yesterday. Um, I was actually supposed to go today to get my nails done, but then something happened. And now I don't, I'm not going to be able to do that, but I can't wait to go get them done. All right. So these two cards came out. So this is like spirit is saying right now, you, you're like working towards um, a destination that you have in mind, some sort of goal that you want to reach. Um, they're waiting for the outcome, but in the meantime, needing to really keep, um, broaden your options. Okay. Keep your options open right now. You may even just feel like you're juggling or having a lot going on with this versatility card with this, um, final destination, just spirit saying, don't stop, keep 
pushing. You're closer than you think. So you're almost to some sort of goal. And maybe you have a lot going on as and you're just really needing to push through. Okay, maybe you are, I just heard overextending um, in some area of your life. There could be a lot of distractions here going on. Okay, and so you're really just needing to prioritize what's important. You know, like I'm uh, um, spirits showing me my life as an example. So I'm moving and I've got to move quick at no um, fault of my own, but I've got to move quick. So I'm not going to be able to pack up everything in my house before I have to to go. So I'm prioritizing and taking what is the most important to me. So that's what spirit is saying here, like for you to just keep what's important right now. Uh, maybe not physically, um, but like really um, prioritize what's the most important and what can um, can be, you know, tossed out, what can be, you know, gotten rid of. This is like thoughts, emotions. This may be actual physically going through your home and doing that as well. But then underneath of that, we've got supreme power. So ultimately, like you are in um, uh, control here, even though it may not feel like that. It says you are an unstoppable force, unleash your power and you'll succeed. So really realizing that you are way more powerful than you think. Stay focused. Okay. Your focus, your full attention is required now. So let go of any distractions, give it your all. Okay. Um, right now, continue to push forward, push through, you, you know, with this multitasking, this is like, um, there may be a lot of different thoughts going on in your mind right now too. Like you may have a whole lot going on in your head right now. And spirit is just saying, you know, just to pick something, pick one task and stay on that particular task until that's finished is what I'm feeling too for some of you. But the card that actually came out is the blossoming card. And this is you're in the early stages of something right now. Okay, you, you could be laying the foundation for some sort of long term success in your life, planting seeds. I really feel like this is um, like that. Um, uh, ace of pentacles type of energy right now you're in you, you know things it's like you're planting the seeds and getting it getting um things ready for success it just needs like your full focus right now and it's like whatever this is that you're preparing for whatever this um this is that you're in the early stages of it's like spirit saying it's not actually going to take that long for those seeds to um to grow you know normally you would have to wait i don't know i i don't know how long it takes to like grow stuff because my mother was like a green thumb she always had a garden and and all of that stuff and um i was always like not interested in in doing that stuff when I was young. So I don't know. I don't have a green thumb, but I know that it takes a while for things to grow, especially like a a, a, a full big tree. You know, I know I probably sound pretty um, uh, uh, uneducated right now, but I am when it comes to like uh, growing things. But I know what spirit is giving me and I know the messages that I'm receiving and this is how spirit is giving this to me. So spirit's like, it's not going to take as long as you would think it would be, you know, um, you may also look and then look. Look, look at the Queen of Pentacles, how she came out like that. This is you. Like, you are the queen of the blossoming. You are the queen um, of uh, whatever it is that you're planting here. You, you're in the early stages right now. But you're still the queen of pentacles and you're you're planting another seed right now to add to your garden of success. That's really cute. I like that. Thank you, spirit. Tell me more. Can we get three cards, single jumping cards only? Look, and we got the queen of cups. Some of you could have earth in your chart um, and then um, as well as uh, water or look. And then there's the empress like. You, we saw two of the queens, so it's like you are all the queens in one. You are um, um, 
in this energy of <clears throat> watering your own garden to watering your own garden like you are planting your own seeds watering your own seeds and making things happen for yourself male or female it does not matter okay you're in the this energy here of reaping the rewards and as you plant those seeds you're going to reap the 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 fruits of the labor that you put into whatever this is that you're planting right now whatever it is that you are um uh laying down the groundwork for this could be in work home um this could be in your uh on your spiritual path some of you are like really getting into psychic development right now i'm feeling i'm also seeing um uh, empaths some of you could be dealing with a situation with your own mother too there's like some sort of mother issues going on that i'm seeing um But you're really like, we've got a lot of like feminine, um, uh, fertile energy here. So some of you could be dealing with pregnancy. You know, this could be, um, this could be a family member, a friend. Uh, this could be a pet as well. Ooh, and that's another thing too. I'm seeing someone's pet that is really important to them. I feel like someone also, um, like I'm seeing like the gestation, somebody could be in the early stages of pregnancy, um, quite literally in the, those early gestation stages of pregnancy. But, um, and I'm also seeing like your psychic gifts, your psychic de development is, um, is growing you may um, be finding that your um, psychic abilities are going to come on in leaps and bounds for many of you that are into like psychic work. But with that Empress being the underlining energy right now, this is like whatever it is that you're beginning right now, whatever this is that you're starting on now in your life it is going to be um prosperous here with that empress energy um y you are going to um i guess I, I don't know i just said that i was going to say you are going to reap the rewards but i just said that it's like you're really i feel like a lot of you are really coming into your own right now some of you may even be like coming into like your own um, mother mothering style as well. But um, and like you could even be a mother yourself and like having issues with your own children. Really working on building a relationship with your own children, communication with your own children really embracing that softer side of yourself a lot of you could be really exploring your emotions really starting to begin to listen to your intuition i feel like people are really going to be drawn to you and this really kind empathetic compassionate um nurturing side of yourself as you really embrace that softer side of yourself again whether you're male or female really embracing that softer side of yourself even like maybe watching how you talk to your children being softer kinder with your own children gaining a deeper and more loving understanding of yourself um your own mother gaining a deeper understanding of your own mother um also i'm i'm seeing to someone in the healthcare field you could be like a nurse or like you're doing something where you're nurturing and taking care of people or maybe you're a stay-at-home parent <clears throat> and you're just really devoted to your to your family Also, look, if you're not, if you are 
capable of getting pregnant and you do not want to be pregnant, be careful because there's a lot of fertile energy in the cards for the collective that I'm reading for. So that's only if you can get pregnant and you don't want to be pregnant, you know, be extra cautious because again, like I said, there's a lot of um, fertile energy here but spirit is saying that right now because there is a lot of fertile energy whatever it is that you um, plant seeds on is going to grow it's going to be successful you're going to have a lot of long-term success the empress didn't get to be the empress overnight though right there's going to be a lot of growth in whatever it is that you start on you know it's a good time to get started on anything that you're doing right now, especially like if you're working on your psychic abilities, this is a really good time for you to really connect to your higher self, to connect to spirit, to be in that flow of energy here. I feel like a lot of you are like Mother Gaia here is really looking after you, really drawing you in. You may be getting a lot of messages about connecting with Mother Gaia, connecting with the earth, grounding your energy. What else can you show me about this blossoming card spirit? What other messages can you give? Uh, I'm only taking single jumping cards, but I do want to tell you that there is, um, spirit is telling you to, to get excited. There could be something here unfolding for you, um, some sort of new success here that you're about to receive some really good news um, from a, um, this could be a boss. This could be someone in position of authority that is going to send out some sort of message here for you to get excited. Also, though, uh, whatever it is that you do start, make sure that you follow through because the Page of Wands can get really excited about an, uh, so, you know, like um, a project or, you know, any kind of opportunity, but then doesn't really have a whole lot of follow through. So some of you may get really excited about starting something, but you don't really finish it. So make sure that you finish what you start. Um whether or not it's cleaning the house, doing the laundry, starting a, um, a business, um, starting school, whatever it is, make sure, you know, working on a car is something that I just heard. Uh, make sure whatever it is that you start, you know, don't get all gung ho about it and then kind of peter out and not do it, not finish it. Single jumping cards only, please, Spirit. But I am seeing some very good news coming to you from a person um, uh, in a position of power or authority. Okay. King of Pentacles, again, the King of Wands. Look, I'm going to clarify that King of Pentacles to see exactly why that's there. Some of you could be dealing with... Um, uh, again, there's that earth energy, okay? Um, could be dealing with a uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, why did I say Bor Virgo? I have no idea. Capricorn, um, oh my gosh. Anyways, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yes, I was right at the beginning. I don't know what is wrong. Like, um, maybe it's the, the energy that I'm picking up on where someone is dealing with a bunch of, like, your thoughts are all over the place. And I'm really feeling that energy. Also, to look at these two figures, like they both kind of, the pictures kind of look the same with the, with those, um, hats. So it's like, um, there's some sort of final destination that you're coming to that's bringing long-term stability and security for you reaching. This is you reaching this goal. I feel like that's why spirit, um, it's like, keep pushing through you know, this, whatever this is that you plant is going to bring in long-term stability and security. See it through to the end. Whatever it is that you start, see your way through to the end. 
but um but you could be like um receiving some sort of an offer or an opportunity because the blossoming card i did say reminded me of the ace of pentacles so some sort of an offer or an opportunity here that is bringing in wealth abundance stability security and this is long term this could be with business this you know anything to do with business it doesn't have to be career but any kind of business dealings that you're doing it's bringing about a lot of success because i just saw the um the chariot one last card please spirit the nine of cups this is bringing about a fulfillment here. So look, there's some good news coming in. There could be some sort of financial decision that either you're making or someone else is making, okay? And it brings with it like excitement. This is good news, right? That brings about happiness. You could be worried about this, you know, or like thinking into the future and feeling a bit anxious uh, or worried about the future of something um, but we're we're just taking these bottom three cards here and the the two of pentacles this is a financial decision here that this is what i'm picking up some sort of financial decision that either you're making or someone else is making and it's exciting you are so excited and this is like something that that makes you it's like good fortune this is blessing feeling blessed by this decision that either again you're making or someone else is making for you to you but the last card that came out this is the nine of cups you guys um this is your wish fulfillment this is what you've been wishing for dreaming of this is blessings feeling as though your cup has runneth over and look here she is enjoying the fruits that she planted she planted those fruits. She nurtured them, okay, stuck with it. And now she is enjoying the fruits of, of her labors, the fruits from the seeds that she planted. So this is what you can expect. This is really exciting, you guys. You, this is a sense of a, an abundance, too. I'm sensing like some sort of windfall of money. Okay, this is money that is like your money is increasing or going to increase. I'm seeing like you, I, I just heard the land of milk and honey. So uh, maybe you are moving and you're going to feel very blessed in your home. Uh, even if you're not moving, this is like feeling very blessed with some sort of opportunity here whatever this is that you're planting whatever this is that you're in the early stages of you're going to feel so very blessed you could even be like it's like living the good life whether or not this is um, with regards to your money your um where your home is There could be some sort of like a check that you receive, some uh, a notice, but it, this is like you, I feel like you realizing, even realizing your dreams. But you're celebrating. Also be careful because this is like nine months and it's water. So like nine months in water, a baby, you know? So, um, so be careful if you can get pregnant and you don't want to get pregnant. It's a very fertile energy. You could also be finding out that someone is pregnant, but I want to use my prophecy cards and I, um, I don't guys, I don't have time to do the, um, the individual, uh, prophecy card. Uh, because I've got to get stuff loaded onto the U-Haul. And then I've also got a uh, private reading to do. So I don't have time. Um, but this, I am going to do collective prophecy message for you guys. Thank you, Divine. Look, a time of evolution and growth of self approaches. You will feel a higher frequency of energy surrounding you in comparison to recent past. Um, also, look, a shift in your family will cause um, 
challenges with the dynamics. So that could be like pregnancy, um, really anything. But, but your um, spiritual gifts are growing. Your psychic abilities um, are growing. I feel like like your frequency, your the your energy uh, is heightening. You it's like an increase in positive energy. Feeling happy and fulfilled on so many different levels. And and even like uh emanating positive energy. Like look at her. She just looks happy. How can you not like see this picture and not want to smile? Like she just, I mean, and like who sits there with white gloves eating fruit, you know, <laughs> like that is amazing. Like, tell me you would not enjoy sitting at that table with her. Tell me you wouldn't. I mean, come on now. Like, and this is the energy that you're in, you know, doing what makes you happy, feel emanating love and positive energy. Thank you, spirit, angels, guides. Please give me a message, a prophecy for the collective. Okay, so um, somebody here may be dealing with some sort of illness, mm -hmm. whether this is you or a family member. Okay, but spirit is saying um, the outcome will turn out for the best so if you this could be a headache this could be stomach issues whatever this is for you um there it, it is going to turn out for the best it is going to be okay i'm not a doctor or healthcare professional but i am seeing improving health especially with the queen of cups on the ground too also this was just on the bottom of the deck so, and it just jumped right out and it says, be careful of your business dealings for the next few weeks. So that could be different for everyone. Um, it doesn't mean that uh, you've got to worry or stress, but spirit is saying that there's a lot um, going on with regards to business and you just need to pay extra careful attention to your business, um, any kind of business, not just career. Okay, a declaration of love from a romantic interest will soon come in, allowing the opportunity to build a more strong and solid foundation. Also to bottom of the deck is a man is coming or will come in between you and your beloved. So be careful um, if you are with your person and you're, you love your person and you don't care about separating it's okay that message isn't for you you know you don't have to worry about somebody coming between you and your person however um there uh seems to be someone that's going to come in and and make their feelings known to you all right this was someone that has romantic feelings for you Others of you, though, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantically. This is this can be like a friendship. This is someone telling you that they care about you and you are actually building a stronger connection with this person. So this is what I have for you guys and the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.